Hi there, my name's Ananya and in this video I'm going to talk about um, how to heal from sexual abuse from somebody who is going through it themselves. So stay tuned. Hey guys! Hi! Um, it's been a long time since I made a video. Um, lots going on, lots of personal healing happening and really I wanted to make a video today in light of the um, Harvey, what, I don't even know how you say his name, Weinstein, Weinstein, um, stuff that is coming forward in Hollywood regarding sexual abuse. Basically the situation with me at the moment is that I am going through another healing of my own. I have yesterday's makeup on still, kind of, most of it's come off. I haven't showered yet. I am really exhausted. I'm going through a really bad period of sleep deprivation. And what I wanted to do is make this video showing that this is like the reality of healing from sexual abuse, you know. It's not glamorous. It doesn't look good. It feels awful. And awful isn't like barely even, you know, describes it. Um, and it's raw and it's gritty and sometimes it can feel like you're dying. It's just really, really horrific. And so I wanted to make this video in that kind of energy that I set up this channel with, which is real honesty and transparency. And so what I wanted to talk about today is that there has obviously been a lot of allegations made against Harvey <laughs> if I knew how to pronounce his name it would be so much better. Harvey W, let's just say, um, in Hollywood, this can be a really difficult thing for us to deal with because firstly it can be very triggering for us to see a lot of people speaking up about the struggles that they've gone through with sexual abuse. My personal perspective on it is that this is barely touching the surface. I believe that Hollywood has got a culture of paedophilia and sexual abuse like ingrained in it basically I, I think they're inseparable they like they are one and the same and what is happening now is this the beginning of the exposure of this into the light it can be very difficult for people to kind of like absorb um it can be very difficult for us to take on board and especially a lot of the articles that I've read have kind of listed all the things that he's done and when it's done in that way, it has this kind of like impersonal quality to it, you know. It's not, it's just words that are kind of trying to describe something that's happened in a very um, distant way. And yet the reality when you have been sexually abused is that words can't, words just can't describe it, you know. It's so painful and there's, there's so many issues there and it, it rears its ugly head in so many different ways in your life this stuff is starting to come out and even though we have different ways to cope with it and when I say cope with it I don't mean cope with it ways to move beyond it to integrate it to transmute it to kind of like turn it from its darkness into light within ourselves um, and there are lots of techniques to do that at the fundamental core level what the the best advice that I can give is that you need to face it and that can be really difficult. Um, it can be difficult because the main way that this happens is through triggering. So depending on what your situation is, I after I had my flashback, I know that there were certain situations, like for example when I went for a bikini wax, oh my god, I had a meltdown the next few days, and I did do a video about it before very briefly. Um, but just that thing of like lying on this table completely exposing myself and then experiencing pain down there triggered me like crazy. And what you then need to do off the back of that is you can either kind of bury it again um, or somehow try to bring some presence to the feelings that you're feeling and try to almost like play detective with yourself and be like okay god this is really awful it I mean when it's happening like the shame and the um the guilt and the the nasty feelings that come along with it so all-consuming and so overwhelming that literally you can feel like you're gonna die and I know that Reese Witherspoon came forward lately and she was saying that with all the allegations that were being made it was 
making her remember all the things that she had been through in terms of sexual abuse in Hollywood. And she was struggling to sleep at night. And, and that's what it's like. It takes over, you know, and it's like you can be drowning in these feelings. But to have the courage to face them means that you can take them from these horrible things and turn them into something new. When you feel those feelings, that you can connect with a part of you that is higher, like there's your soul, you know, which transcends this humanly experience. And it, it part of it is in this experience, but part of it is like up there above, you know, watching the divinity of how everything perfectly ties in together. Like on some level, we've consented to these experiences and maybe, even though this is horrific to say on some level, maybe even asked for it for our growth. And you know, that's the, that can be a really difficult one to swallow, but that's the journey from going from being a victim to being an empowered person who takes responsibility for their side of it. My main advice here is feel the feelings. I know it's horrific. If you have the courage just to, to hold a space for yourself, just to allow this stuff to come up, um, not even you know, in, in a gentle way, like, you don't have to be harsh with this, you know, if little bits of feelings come up and you, you have a massive cry or whatever it is that you need to do, and then it's too much, you can put the lid back on it again and then deal with it again the next day, you know? But we now have to bring this shadow that is in everyone. It's, it's in everyone who just everyone <laughs> sexuality is so distorted it is everywhere we have to bring this shadow into the light and that does mean bringing it into our conscious awareness so the healing can begin and one other thing i just want to add is that we are on a on a spiritual kind of like cosmic level we are moving into an area of the galaxy now where we are receiving a lot more light um, and kind of like spiritual energies. And this is massively accelerating our awakening process. And while it may not feel like that, it may feel like the world is falling apart even more than normal. What it actually means is that it is causing all of this stuff to come to the surface and be purged. Because while these allegations about the sexual assault and stuff are coming up, it may seem to us like a shock, like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening, this is awful. But the truth is that it has always been there and it has always been so, such a big powerful part of that industry and such a big powerful part of our lives. And so when you think about the fact that this stuff has been passed down ancestrally as well, um, you know, generationally, and so we don't know what normal is. Like we're brought into this world and we see the dynamics of sexuality and the distortions and stuff and we think that that's how it's supposed to be and that is what's normal. Um, and we've never known anything different. And so we have to really deeply get in touch with like our intuitive knowing and peel back the layers of all of this distortion and weirdness to get to the truth of what we feel, what we know in our hearts and from a purer place that sexuality should be. Um, which is to me, I, on a knowing intellectual level, it's like pure creation um, and pure divinity basically. So the way we need to do this is hold a space for each other and ourselves. So I'd say two things here. The first thing is to really tenderly and gently hold that space for ourselves to confront all of these difficult feelings we have around sexuality and sexual distortion and sexual abuse. And then also extend that grace to others because things are going to get kind of crazy on this front, you know. There's a lot that's going to come out and especially around paedophilia, you know, it's, it's, it's really tough for people to process. But you know, when other people are going through their stuff, it may trigger you as well. So when you have got other people coming up with their, their pain bodies and all of that kind of stuff going on, just try to take a step back. You know, first of all, if you're not in a space to hold a space for them, then you go and do your own healing work first. Like you have to put yourself first with this. We've, we've got to make sure that we're okay before we can support other people. But then just try and know that like whatever is going on and this goes for perpetrators as well as victims everyone's got the distortions there and ultimately we need to encourage each other to face those and to confront them and build a relationship with them and understand them and then collectively from that it's only once we've really purged the darkness and and 
the messed upness of everything I feel once we've got it out of our systems you know we're just at the very beginning stages of that right now that we can then have a blank slate to kind of redefine things you know um bring in more light and think what is this new world that we want to create what do we want sexuality to be what what is most natural how can we flow that into our realities and support each other to co-create that and it is very much a co-creative thing like we're uh, living through an incredible time at the moment the the madness of like the um you know people call it different things like the Kazarian mafia um the the elite who are ruling the planet at the moment who unfortunately have a lot of um sort of satanic influences through their um belief systems and and I know that um Gabriel oh, what's his name Gabriel Cousins refers to it as a culture of death I believe um so like focused on on the death of things rather than preserving and advancing life um you know they that's crashing it's crumbling it's falling apart and the problem is that we've been hypnotized we haven't seen what is going on exactly because we've been born into this how could we know any different and yet somehow now we're going like oh do you know what that's not right actually this isn't okay and more and more is going to come out um and we just got to hold a space and be there for each other so on that note i'm just going to end this now and say i'm sending you so much love particularly if you have been affected by sexual abuse in any way at any point in your life on any scale let's support each other through this and create something new out of it you know we're going through a really painful process right now but it is going to pass it truly is going to pass and we we will move into a time of more light and purity and joy and abundance for everyone i am going to start making videos again i'm feeling really strongly guided to do this so please do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this maybe next time i will put a little bit of makeup on um and have slept a little bit so i'm not like um also I have decided to start offering healing sessions which you can book through my website so I'll put a link in the description below. So if you have been sexually abused and you would like to book a session with me then do that through my website, get in touch. Um, a couple of things I want to mention is that I am still going through my own healing journey as well so I may need to use discernment in who I can support through the healing process. Please don't be offended if I don't feel in a place to support you and I will refer you to another healer. And then another thing is that I do go through a cycle with my healing. So I'm either in a really like on it space where I feel really good about things and I'm able to support other people or all my energy is internalized on my own healing. And when I'm going through those phases, I may be a little bit unresponsive with messages and I may also not be able to support other people through their healing. So, um, but all in all, you know, I'm here, whether you just need to tell someone about what you've been through or you would like to learn some techniques about how to clear it or we can actually do the clearings ourselves um, working with different systems. So thank you so much for watching. Long video! Um, I'm sending you love and you know may this be the beginning of a brilliant new chapter for us all. Okay lots of love, bye. Thank you.